today I will be making roast chicken with two vegetables. It's such a simple dish, but it's really fun to make and delicious and hearty and really rustic. So I hope you enjoy. So before you start, you want to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius or about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to put it in bake mode. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get my large pan that I'm baking it in. This is um, a cast iron enameled Dutch oven or a casserole pan. I'm going to use a little brush and brush some oil inside. Of course you can do a really old fashion and uh, brush it with um, lard but I wouldn't recommend that. I am first going to start off with cutting four or five yellow onions at the uh, top and the bottom. Peel off all the onion peel and then rinse your onion in running water. After you have rinsed your onion, you may cut it into eggs. These onions are going to sit at the bottom of, of the pan and they're going to turn golden and lovely on the chicken. Oh, I hate this part. Now, once you've got your onion chopped up, you just want to separate all the little bits and break it up so you have little pieces and slices of onion. Now, I'm going to season the chicken with pepper, salt, honey, and garlic. It's very, very simple. And a little bit of fresh thyme and rosemary. To start off with, I've got two tablespoons of honey in a little cup and about ten cloves of garlic because I like a lot. About a tablespoon of salt and two pepper. Stir all this up with a spoon and let's season the chicken with it. Let's season the bottom and the top. The chicken is looking really good. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of pepper over it. Just a little bit of salt on the surface. And of course some Italian herbs like rosemary and thyme are wonderful as well. Now it's time to put the chicken in the oven. I like to cover it partially for the first 30 minutes because the honey makes the chicken brown and then after that I'll just let it brown. By roasting and cover it for about 30 minutes more. Now I'm going to stew three different kinds of vegetables. I'm going to peel my potatoes and carrots and then dice the potatoes, carrots and celery. Once the chicken has finished cooking, I'm going to take it out of the pan. And let's reduce the juices over the stove and add some water and the rest of the vegetables. You can season the vegetable stew with some salt and pepper and more herbs if you want. And cook that and what you get is a really sweet, fresh tasting vegetable stew with just a little bit of chicken stock for flavor.